Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to be filming this video because I'm starting a new series on my channel that was requested by my mom. She wanted me to film shorter videos showing tips basically for people that don't know anything about makeup, which I didn't even think about doing because I think I just assumed like everyone that would be watching my videos was like better at makeup than me probably because I'm not like that good at it so but it did make me think people that watch YouTube videos like as much as I do which is a lot um, <laughs> we don't realize like we've learned a lot of tips just from watching other people and it's not necessarily things that like the regular person knows that isn't watching all these videos about like you know makeup tutorials and what's new and how to apply your eyeshadow in a cut crease most people don't wear makeup like that every day either so they just want to know like okay well, how do i blend my foundation so things that are really much more simple so for my first video i'm gonna focus on base products so uh, primer foundation concealer and I'll probably talk about powder although I don't use use a lot of powder but some people do so yeah I think we'll just get started because I want these videos to be quicker and like to the point so let's just go ahead and get started so first I will say though that your the way you apply your base products is really going to depend on your skin type and your preferences I know that's like not what you want to hear maybe if you're just starting out you just want to know no how do I do it but really what I found is if I just copy someone blindly from YouTube that's doing it one way it's maybe not going to work for me because we don't have the same skin type or even like the same features so first what I will say is as I say in every video, I have very dry skin. So all the products I use tend to be more for hydration um, to give the skin more like a glow. Um, yeah, and like a radiant effect as opposed to a matte like smooth effect because those products are normally for oilier or combination skin. So really it's going to depend on your skin type. But... What I will say is because I have dry skin, I suggest using a primer. So this is a hydrating primer. It's good for sensitive skin. It's the Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer from First Aid Beauty. But you can use any primer that you want. So I go in with about this much. I guess it's like a dime size maybe. And I mix it in my hands a bit and then I apply it on my skin and because it's a moisturizing primer I just apply it like a moisturizer so I put it everywhere so if you have large pores um, you might want to use a pore filling primer those are very popular as well I do have one with me right here this is just a mini size of the Benefit Professional. So a pore filling primer, in my opinion, you don't want to put this all over your face like I just did with the other primer. This you really want to put on any zones where you feel your pores are larger. For most people, that's the T-zone. So for me, I don't normally use a pore filling primer, but I'm showing you like a demo. So... I literally use like not even a pea size amount of this. I already put it so I'll show you on my hand. This is how much. Yeah, <laughs> it's tiny. So because with a pore filling primer, if you put too much, it will have the reverse effect. It will actually like make your makeup slide off and get like weird and patchy. So. You really just want to use it for the purpose of filling your pores, which should be like a very thin layer of product. So I'm just going to put this on my nose. And especially right here. 
this is where my pores are the most visible. So now that you have your primer on, you can go in with concealer. So at this point is when I spot conceal. For spot concealing, you want to use a shade that's the same as your skin tone because you don't want to highlight your blemishes. So there's like two methods of concealing. So one is spot concealing, so for blemishes and the other is using concealer to highlight. So, but right now we're just spot concealing, which I do under my foundation. So I just take my concealer, which I specifically use for this purpose. Um, you probably don't want to use the same concealer that you're putting on blemishes, like under your eye and other parts of your face. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just apply this concealer on my blemishes so I have one here 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 so and then to blend out cream products there's kind of like two different ways to go some people use sponges well I think most people do I have this sponge here this is um, a Sony Kashuk sponge which is actually like kind of huge. <laughs> a lot of people use beauty blenders, which are more like egg shaped. So there's like tons of different sponges out on the market now. And what I find is for like drier skin, you probably want to go with a sponge because the sponge is damp um, when you're using it. And the moisture in the sponge actually helps to blend out the product it kind of adds some moisture back to your skin whereas if you use a brush which is the other way you can blend out your cream products it doesn't add any moisture because it's going to be dry but you will get a fuller coverage when you use a brush so again it's something that depends on your skin type what your preferences are but for me i prefer to use a sponge so i'm just going to blend out where I place the concealer. So now the concealer is blended, then you go in with your base product. So today I'm just going to use my, I'm going to use a BB cream because actually I find this performs like a foundation anyway. It's the Physicians Formula Organic Wear BB cream, but whatever product you're using, it will be the same technique basically. So I just put the product directly on my sponge. I'm gonna go in with this much to start off with. You always want to go in with like probably less than you think you'll need because if you put too much you can't really go back from there. Um, yeah so just don't put too much on the sponge to start off and I'll just dab it on my skin just wherever and then I will start to blend it out and because this sponge has like this flat edge that's what I'm going to use but you can do whatever also when you use a sponge you can't really go wrong basically you just blend it until you don't see the product built up anywhere and the sponge does the work for you so now that we have our foundation on um, this is the part where you use a different concealer for highlighting and I don't mean like glowy sparkly highlight I mean like highlighting your features where natural light hits them so for that, like I said before, I use a different concealer. What I want to do with this is, like I said, apply it in the places where light naturally hits your face because the idea is you want to create dimension. So basically the goal of putting makeup on is for it to look like you're not wearing makeup. Um, I know it sounds kind of weird because we're putting all kinds of product on our face, but you're trying to enhance your natural features. So I'll put the concealer under my eyes. So where I have discoloration is like right in the corner here. So that's where I put it. 
And I don't put it too close to my eye either because you don't want a lot of product built up there because that's when it could start to crease, especially if you're over 30 and <laughs> like me and you're starting to see your fine lines there. You don't obviously want to put a lot of product where that is happening because it will go into the lines and make them look more pronounced. So I just use a bit to start off with. Same like principle for the face. You don't want to go in with too much product at the beginning. Then I put a bit right here and down the center of my nose, above my lip, and on my chin. So it looks like that. And then you just blend it out like you blend it out everything else. And also if you find like the sponge is too large, you can go in with a concealer brush. So usually those are like stippling brushes. And for me, I don't like to apply the concealer all the way up because I have a large forehead to begin with so I don't want to accentuate that because like I said putting concealer on this way is going to enhance those features because it's going to bring light to them so I just put it right here and the last thing would be at this stage to put the powder on but the way you would put the powder again depends on your skin type so if you have oilier skin you'd probably want to set your whole face with powder in order to keep your makeup on so because people with oily skin it means their their skin is producing more oil throughout the day which can break up the makeup so putting a powder on helps to keep the skin looking matte but for me, I definitely don't want to do something like that. But what I do use a loose powder for, like this, is under my eyes. Especially if I'm going in with a really dark or like bold eyeshadow look. And I don't want the eyeshadow to fall into my concealer and get stuck there. And then have a shadow under my eye. Which defeats the purpose of putting the concealer there in the first place. That's why I put powder on. So I just dip my sponge directly in and I press it under my eye. And before doing this, you just want to make sure that your concealer didn't crease already because if you put powder over that, you're going to set the creases, which just, again, defeats the whole purpose and will make you look crepey. So I just put a light layer and usually I'll let it sit while I do my eyeshadow and then dust it off later. And it just helps to set your concealer so that it doesn't crease as much. But I will say that I don't do this with every product. It really depends on the texture of the concealer. For example, the other concealer I'm using is my sample of the NARS um, soft matte concealer. So the texture of this one is a lot thicker than the one I'm using now and I wouldn't put powder on that one because it creates like an even thicker texture under the eye which I don't want and I don't need because that concealer doesn't really crease whereas this one is a lot like a, a more waterier texture so yeah for this one I do put powder on and if I feel like the product I used that day was tacky or sticky then I might put powder on other parts as well but I never put powder around my nose or my mouth because those are the places where I have the most texture and I don't want to enhance it so I will dust that away now for this video because <laughs> that's the end of this part this was just the um, base products so foundation or BB cream in my case concealer powder oh, and primer so to dust away the powder I always use this brush here because it has this point which helps to get right in the corner of my eye where the powder is sitting and I just flick it away And with any excess, I might just 
brush my cheeks because this is where you will be applying blush and bronzer and all that other stuff and if you're wearing a really sticky product or something that's tacky feeling on the face you probably want to put powder on those areas because you're going to go in with other powder products and if you don't have a powder base they won't blend as well so that's just another tip but we'll go more into that in another video so i hope you liked this first part of my back to basics series i don't know if i said that's what it's called at the beginning yeah i hope you learned something and if there's anything you're still unsure of or you want more details on or you want me to go into even more depth really like i could do a whole video on each of these steps because there's so many products and different techniques and tools that you can use but i really just wanted this to be basic so but yeah, if anything, just leave a comment down below. But if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, which will be continuing to do our full face. So uh, I'll see you in the next video, hopefully. Bye!